back to this course so in this video we will see that what tools we actually need to start building this project all right so first of all we need a text editor in which we can write a code now this is totally optional you can use any text editor you want but for this project we are going to use the visual studio code as i have used in all my courses so definitely i will recommend you to use visual studio code so you can definitely download it from uh, their website for windows mac linux whatever operating system we are using and after visual studio code installing it i hope that you can install all these softwares easily so after installing the visual studio code you need to install the node.js so node.js basically help us to run our code on the back end all right so this is runtime environment that help us to run javascript on the back end all right so simply you have to download the latest version of node.js and install it on your uh, windows mac or whatever operating system you are using all right and i hope that you can easily do that and next you need to install the git which help us to basically control the versions so definitely i will recommend you to use the git as i am recommending everyone to use git in my previous courses so you can simply download uh, git for your operating system and install that and after installing it we have to use this git terminal in our visual studio code all right so if you don't have embedded it in your visual studio code then you can simply go to your vs code after installing it you can go to the file preferences and settings and the settings you simply have to type here terminal and you can see that here external terminal you can simply provide the link after installing the git you can simply go to your c program files git bin and then bash.exe all right so you can simply copy this url or the path of this bash file and paste it in here and that's it and then if you go to your terminal like terminal new terminal you will see that now you have git on your terminal so after installing the git you also need to install uh, this postman now postman is a software that help us to test our apis so definitely we are going to build our api on the back end and then we will connect this api to the front end so to test all these routes on the back end we need a software so in this case we are using the postman one of the best software to test our apis so simply download it and install it on your uh, computer and i will show you later that how we can set up this postman uh, environment to test our api so simply download it and install it and after that we also need a mongodb compass because we are using the mongodb database as our database in this project so we need mongodb compass which is basically a software you can install and you can use it uh, offline or online whatever you want so simply you have to download it and install it and also i will show you how to use it later when we will get toward the database all right so you need uh, visual studio code any text editor you can use that but i will recommend vs code then you have to definitely install the node.js git for your terminal if you are using mac then you don't need to install git but if you're using windows then i will don't recommend you to use the default terminal uh, you can use this git and also we have to install the postman to test our api that we will build on our backend and then we will also need to install this mongodb compass you can also use the mongodb atlas uh, like you can create cluster but we will uh, discuss all that stuff later when we will add our online database so you simply have to install the mongodb compass and you are good to go all right so after installing all these softwares you are good to go and in our next video basically in our next section we're going to start writing our proper code for shop it e-commerce project all right and also before closing this video i want to tell you that first of all we will handle our backend part because i want to complete my backend first then i will connect the backend api with the front end in which i'm going to use the react all right so this is totally optional if you want to use like if you want to uh do front end and back end at the same time like first create a route on the back end then handle that route on the front end you can also do that but this is totally optional but in this course i'm going to write our back end like 80 percent of the back end first and then i will move toward the front end and handle all the routes on the front end also all right so this is totally optional whatever you want to do so i will see you in the next video